So we are again just following the the pipe down from the dam through the bush. It just runs on the surface. It doesn't get buried anywhere along the way. This is just a shot of the scree slopes, the black scree slopes that are up above the creek. Um, chunks of black rock. You can see them from down in the valley bottom uh, various sizes, anywhere from the size of a car down to the size of your fist. Very difficult to walk on. But uh, that's what the creek is running through. Here we are where the pipe comes all the way down to a to a building, to a structure that houses kind of a settling pond or a settling uh, trough, I guess you would call it. This is again the pipe coming down from the dam and it feeds into this building here. And this is up above the present day reservoir. Um, the facility is fenced as you can see. Here is the door open and here is the trough where the water comes into. And I'm told that this was to settle out sticks and any organic debris that was in the water that came down from the creek. Yeah, it's maybe, I don't know, 12 or 15 feet long, maybe 4 feet wide, 3 feet deep. And then the water would exit through that pipe at the bottom and continue uh, down into, uh, you'll see the, uh, the old storage tanks. But this was just a little bit of a metal clad building surrounded by a fence. And here's the pipe as it comes out of that building. Again, there it is. Zoom in a little bit. And it's well up above the ground here. I found that kind of interesting. It's supported by some really rickety <laughs> 2 by 6 2 by 4 strapped together uh, supports. And it goes into the uh, these two old uh, rusty colored uh, tanks that were uh, the, the reservoir for the community prior to the present day reservoir being there. I'm told that they're two 3,500 gallon I think tanks. So anyways this pipe leads right into them. Um, just a few more shots of the the supports that are holding it up above the ground. It's a good eight or ten feet above the ground at this point because the uh, the entranceway to the tanks as you can see is on the top of the tanks there. So the water would spill in there. Uh, the two tanks are in series. You'll see a better shot of it here. Here's the overflow pipe, I think, from the from the one tank. Anyways, there was an overflow, obviously, when it was when it was too full. Here's a close up of the tank. The tanks, you can see their their uh, condition, if you will. They're connected by a by a little bit of that pipe at the bottom there. This looks like uh, again an old wooden containment structure of some sort that's been obviously dilapidated over time, but found it a little bit interesting to see. Not sure what the purpose was of that, but uh, and again the, uh, the water used to come out of this tank. This is the second tank in the series. There it is as it runs out the bottom in this silver colored pipe. Oh yeah, there's another split in the pipe. There's many, many splits in this pipe. I've walked this line two or three times now and there's literally dozens of splits in this pipe. I'm not sure it's of any use to us presently the way it is. Uh, it's in very poor repair in my opinion. There's all kinds of these splits along the way as it goes up to the dam. 
Anyways, beginning in 2008, in the fall, the, uh, the district undertook to connect this pipe and this whole system that runs up to the dam undertook uh, a project to connect it. The thought was, I believe, to, to turn it into the dedicated irrigation line. So this pipe here, this old silver pipe with all the holes in it, was actually connected to some newer 10 inch white, 10 or 12 inch white PVC pipe right at the reservoir site, the present day reservoir site. I've got a shot of some of the connections here. This is, this is as it runs right past the reservoir and the control building. And it runs down the hill towards Samuelson Road. It doesn't. It stops just before Samuelson Road. Uh, apparently, the district had some of this pipe in storage, and they used it again. They just ran it on top of the ground and buried it. Here is a shot of it as it runs past the uh, the reservoir and the chlorinator, the uh, future chlorination building. Here's a shot of the, the large new PVC pipe as it sits on top of the ground. Again, the project was never completed, but it was begun, and I believe it was fall 2008 when this work was done, using existing inventory of uh, pipe that the district had uh, stockpiled in the community. Give you some idea of the reservoir, the site. 